The last part we want to look at for this particular horizons is the um, is the soil texture, and of course we do that by moistening the soil and and uh, measuring uh, just how plastic it is, how, how easy we're able to form a ribbon and so forth. This uh, taking some of the of the AE horizon, and I'm going to take some of these roots out of here. So one of the things we're looking at first, I guess, for, for me, is, is how plastic it feels. How much is it like plasticine? In this particular case, uh, I know already that this soil doesn't contain a lot of clay because it, uh, as I mold it in my hands, it doesn't have that uh, plastic feel, you might say. Um, but it does, it, it, it has, uh, I'm sure it has a lot of, uh, of sort of medium-sized or, or uh, silt and fine sand-sized particles. Well, if we do the test to see about making a ribbon, And it's certainly it's possible to make a ribbon, but it's not a very not a very durable ribbon. So I'm thinking that uh, all things considered, uh, the degree of plasticity of this soil and the ability to make a ribbon, which isn't isn't working out very well at all, that I'm uh, probably going to favor uh, calling this soil a very fine sandy loam. So now now we're going to move on and, and texture the uh, the BT horizon. And what we're expecting in this horizon is that, in comparison to the AE, that it'll be more clay. So we're going to wet it up carefully and uh, and just see how how clay our our texture indicates that it might be. I think I've a little bit too much. It's hard to get the. Well, certainly I can tell from the plasticity of this particular uh, sample that it does contain much more clay than the AE horizon. Um, and working with a ribbon, ribbons form quite, quite readily. And so I'm thinking that uh, we'll have a ribbon that, you know, that in comparison to the, to the AE horizon, uh, is, is quite a long and durable ribbon. So this is the, the reason that I'm, I'm thinking that the texture of this particular, um, this particular horizon, this particular soil sample, is going to be in the clay loam range. Uh, I'm, I'm, quite I'm quite sure of that, that it's, this, the, it, that it's a, a clay loam soil. The ribbons form, and it forms pretty readily into a, into a ribbon, as you can see here, the reasonably long ribbon. Over, certainly over two and a half centimeters long. So we know it's a clay loam, so maybe we should just take a little bit of it and see if we can feel the, how gritty it is, or the sand content of this particular um, material. So that means we, we wet it up quite a lot more, uh, and work with it in one's hand. And uh, I'm, yes, I can, I can certainly feel, feel sandy particles in here. Um, and so I'm going to say, that the texture of this uh, BT horizon is a sandy clay loam. If we want to talk about um, amounts of clay, I'm pretty sure that if we were to do a more detailed analysis, we'd find there's about five or ten percent clay in the AE horizon, and that the clay content in the um, in the BT horizon would be somewhere in that range of around thirty percent. So there's a lot more clay in the BT horizon, and of course one of the reasons it's there is we've had this downward translocation of clay by water moving through the pores of the soil it seems to move it does move as far as the bt horizon where it builds builds up in in the bt horizon to give the more clay layer so i have a sample of the of the ae or pardon me of the c horizon it does look a lot like the ae but it is sort of all of uh, you know very uh, light olive yellow in color 
here this part doesn't have a lot of pebbles in it. It seems to be from part of the sea part of the sea horizon that's um, um, a little less stony than 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 average. Once again, I can tell just from the plasticity of the soil that the clay content is less than the clay content in the BT horizon. Um, it's um, it's, but it's, it's still reasonably, um, reasonably plastic. And if we form a ribbon, my dirty... <laughs> well, it does form a ribbon, so I think that, uh, that will put us into the, once again, into the, into the uh, uh, it would be very heavy loam or perhaps clay loam. I think we can say that this probably just squeaks into clay loam uh, somewhere around uh, 25% uh, clay, I suppose, in the soil. So, it, and it's it also uh, this particular one doesn't feel as as, as gritty as, as some, but it's 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 certainly a, a a light clay loam texture. I think we would say. <laughs>